Hey everybody, Mr. G. I'm here to do the homework with you. Um, first week of school is done. Um, everybody survived. Uh, we'll get back at it on Monday. All right, so here's the homework, okay? Now, this is the homework right here. We did some of these or something like this in class. Remember what I told you. Labeling first will help you answer the questions easy. So first, we need to label, okay? So there are five pineapples in each group. How many pineapples are there in five groups? Okay, so here's a group, here's a group, 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 group. Okay, how many in each group? Five. Five in each group equals count by fives, right? Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. 25 okay now answer the questions number of groups one two three four five size of each group one two three four five five times five 25 there are 25 pineapples all together okay really easy when you do labeling first okay let's label here there are blank apples in each basket. How many apples are there in six baskets? Now, they already made the groups for you. So we have one group, two groups, three groups, four groups, five groups, six groups. We have four in each one. Equals. Okay. So here you would count by fours. Okay. So we're going to go four. 8, 12, I don't know anymore. It's okay if you don't know anymore. Use the picture to help you finish counting. 4, 8, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Okay. The pictures are there for a reason. Use them. If you need them, use them. Okay. Next, we are done labeling. It says there are how many apples in each basket? There are four apples in each basket. Number of groups. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six. The size of each group. We have one, two, three, four. Six, the number of groups, times four equals 24. There are 24 apples all together. Okay, easy when you label, easy when you label. Number three, there are four bananas in each row. How many bananas are there in blank rows? Okay, so I heard the word row. Okay, so I'm going to make my rows. I have one, two, three, four. Okay, so I know I have four rows. Okay, now I'm going to label. One row, two rows, three rows, four rows. I have one, two, three, four in each row. Okay, so how many bananas are there in a row? There are four. Okay, next, number of rows. Count the rows. I got one, two, three, four, four. Remember, rows go side to side, like the movie theater. Remember, I told you, like the movie theater, when you go getting your seat, you got to move side to side, okay? Next, 4 times 4 is, well, hold on, I missed one, sorry. The okay, number of rows is 4, size of each row is 4, okay, I got ahead, sorry, sorry, okay? Um, so we're going to count. We're going to label four. We have four, eight, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 16. So four times four is 16. There are 16 bananas all together. Sorry, I got a little confused there. I wasn't paying attention. I guess I'm sleepy, but I'll take a nap when I get home. All right, here we go. Number four. 
there are remember also remember if I'm going too fast you can pause it okay pause it or rewind it or whatever you need to do okay so if I'm going too fast I'm sorry I'm just trying to get this done because when I post this on TikTok it only gives me 10 minutes so I have to try to get it done in under 10 minutes okay four there are blank peppers in each row how many peppers are there in six rows okay I, I see the word rows again so I'm gonna make my rows label okay now how many in a row we got one two three okay so now I'm going to count all of them or I can count by threes so we've got three six nine twelve fifteen eighteen okay so now that I labeled I'm able to answer the questions a lot easier okay there are three peppers in each row number of rows is through six sorry number of rows is six size of each row is three now I'm going to do my multiplication sentence number of groups goes first which is six times how many in each group three equals 18 there are 18 peppers all together okay and the last one draw an array using factors four and two then oh i think i'm doing the wrong thing am i doing the wrong thing? no i'm not doing the wrong thing okay here we go sorry draw an array using factors four and two then show a number bond where each part represents the amount in one row okay <laughs> So, uh, one thing we didn't talk about today, we didn't talk about the word factors, but that's okay. Factors just means the numbers in the multiplication problem, okay? Factors are the numbers in the multiplication problem, okay? So, it wants us to draw an array using 4 and 2. So, I'm going to make 4 rows. And I'm going to put two in each row. Then I'm going to label one, two, three, four, one, two. So I can count by twos. Two, four, six, eight. Okay, eight. So if I'm going to do a multiplication sentence with this, it would be four times two equals eight okay now they want us to do a number bond where each part represents the amount in a row so on our number bond first we have to do our total our total is eight okay so how many do we have in a row we have two in a row so we're going to make two okay now we have what and what is eight we have four and four are eight okay now that's the addition. If we wanted to do the multiplication, of course. Oops, sorry, an arrow. It would be four, two. Which is the same thing because we have two fours. Okay. All right, we will see you on Monday. Have a good weekend, get some rest, be ready to go. Mr. G is definitely going to take some naps and sleep on the weekend, but I also have to do some work. So we'll see you on Monday.